Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is a world premiere. We present to you what we think is the first completely rust-free, maintenance-free bicycle. It's rust-free and maintenance-free, no oil grease, because motion plastics are inside. And we can make it from recycled plastics. Um, this is the Ego Spike and what we'll tell you about first the inner, innards, motion plastics, then with our partner from Holland Material, something about the frame and then and our models for the future. And then uh, we tell you about our, the, our recycling ideas and how we, want, how we want to enable a recycling industry worldwide. So we start with the motion plastics our developers here, our team of developers, have um, adapted their knowledge of ball bearings, gears, um, drives, brakes, adapted this knowledge of motion plastics to the bicycle. And we'll give you two examples um, of uh, the freewheel, first freewheel we think in, in uh, plastics of Georg and then Michael for the gearbox. Georg, bitte. Hi. Hello. So, I want to tell you something about the free will. This is a very important part. Um, this is used when you um, want to uh, drive uh, down a hill and you roll, just not drive. And uh, this keeps your pedals um, stationary. So, and um, yeah, the goal was to. Um, Create a new one, not a steel part, all made of plastic, and um, yeah, to put a lot of parts uh, in steel that you have uh, hooks and um, springs and so much parts, in just keep simple two, three um, plastic parts, motion plastic, and it works and um, it is strong enough for all the forces and it's great. So please try <laughs> it and. Have a, have a nice day. Georg, thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Very uh, humble, thank you. Um, next is the gearbox. All the parts in the back, you can touch them, feel them. Uh, we, built, uh, we have built test tricks for all the parts. So by the time the bicycle, we plan the bicycle to be in consumers, on consumers' roads, um, they will be tested out and safe. So Georg, for the gearbox, please. Hi. I want, I want to tell you about the gearbox now. You can see it here. Can you hold it? You can see it's full made out of plastic. You can see all the gears inside and you have to make it very resistant to absorb all the heavy loads that, comes from, the, that comes from the crank. So you see here all the gears are bigger than usual. You know only it is possible to make it in metal. Every bottom crank has so many loads that it only can be in metal up till now because now we have here a plastic gearbox that can take the loads because it's made of motion plastics so we have a maintenance free without lubrication gearbox for the bicycle due to the motion plastics thank you very much um, Julia pulley this uh, ball bearing is also also in use on this booth. It's a two-component ball bearing with a noise absorption softer and very wear-resistant plastic and a hard shell. You can also feel that outside. Um, yeah, we looked. This is a dream of Egos for uh, more than 10 years to build a motion plastics product that everybody in the world understands. You know, when you are in the plastics business, as good as you are, and you're on a cocktail party. Um, oh, what are you doing? Ego say I know. And then when the word plastic is mentioned, then the conversation dies. So to speak with Star Wars, to be on the light side of the power and not the dark side of the power, uh, takes some effort. And this is a project with which we want to be on the light side of the power. And I was always looking for a partner for the frame and the wheels. And we found these two gentlemen, Johannes and Alda Sebas. They do this since 2015, and there, and Johannes is going to talk to you about uh, the frames and the wheels. And 
formerly Dutch feed snow material. Yeah. Please, Thanks. Johannes. Okay, I will uh, keep my notes with me to uh, inform you as well as possible. Um, yeah, we started uh, my startup. I started the startup in 2015. Our uh, this is my brother. My my grandfather was a was a bike mechanic. He had his bike repair shop, and we've always dreamed of a product that you don't have to throw away when you're done with it. So we went to uh, we we looked for for ways and materials to have a product that you can reuse and we wanted to take the responsibility of what we sell to people so um, yeah all in all we it took some years to to develop the product you see here and in the meantime we partnered with IGUS to to uh, combine our dream into what it is today with uh, yeah, the, the glass all the motion plastics that uh, IGUS makes and um, uh, it turns out that we can uh, work with a, a recyclable material and, and take responsibility for the material we we yeah we throw over, around over the world and we get uh, the bikes back. So this is a good example. This is a 100% recycled bicycle that we made out of uh, old crowdfunded bikes. When we did the crowdfunding in 2016, we got the bikes back. We made this bike out of it. So there is no new uh, material in this. Um, the bikes are a bit oversized. It's it's a hate it or love it design. I'll always say people either love it a lot or they don't understand it. But the reason for the the shape and the design is that we want we're using waste like you see here uh, above our heads, and that's basically a rather weak material. And we need to oversize. We need the, the the shapes and the design that we that we use to make strong and safe parts. So we make bikes that are safe on the roads, tested. We have EU certification on the on the parts, and they they last for years. Um, about 400 of them are on the road. Um, yeah, and now that we uh, have an investment of IGUS and the partnership we were having, we can basically start scaling up our business. And uh, they, yeah, IGUS helps us a lot with with components like the uh, the, the gearbox you just uh, you just seen uh, that Michael mentioned and the free wheel that uh, Georg showed. Um, we have two new models. This is model number one. It, uh, it costs around 1200 euros for this version. The recycled bike is 200 euros more expensive. It's 1400 euros because of uh, the extra work and the, and the safety standards uh, that gets a bit in the way. Um, we also have this little kids bike. We were thinking of uh, starting to sell it without the pedals. Then uh, you can get it for your little kids. You can upgrade it later when uh, your kid turns three to five. And about four of these little kids make one big bike. So if you <laughs> have about four kids, just bring the bike back. We make one adult bike for you. <laughs> I think you want, <laughs> maybe you like the bike that we're, uh, we're selling here. And we have a lot of development plans. For example, uh, an electric version of this bike. We will uh, start delivering that beginning of next year. I hope it's a, it looks promising. And we're uh, starting to use smart uh, plastic that IGUS has. Uh, so we have an example here. Um, basically, uh, what you see here is a is a is a bearing, and um, it senses when it's worn. So you can check on your phone how many more uh, thousands of kilometers you can run without uh, doing maintenance on the bike. So it's it's a smart product. You don't have to yeah worry about anything. You just stay, you keep it out in the rain, and uh, yeah. And when you're done with it, or you don't like the color anymore, you will have four kids and you want one bike you we, we take responsibility for the for the material so we hope to uh, convince uh, all plastic skepticists with uh, with solutions like this that uh, IGUS delivers thank you very much Johannes and Benjamin um, yeah uh, he said it very fast they're in business since 2015 and 400 of these previous model bicycles with the frame and the wheels are on the road EU tested, so we are not starting from scratch from for the beginning. Um, he told you about the Dream Smart and um, e-bike. We have more dreams. We are the dream is to build manufacturing cells, um, and they did a very good design. Low cost manufacturing cells for rotor molding the frames and the wheels, and ship those to countries where there's a lot of plastic garbage so our dream is to ship those yeah, also in Germany but to India to Bali wherever 
and that we make local frames and local wheels in these countries from the local plastic garbage and then we add some motion plastics to it and have a local supply chain so really from ocean plastics to motion plastics and the last thing I guess Igos as a company keeps being a systems supplier we already supply many customers in the bicycle industry with bushings and bearings we want to stay this way so we started a platform um, inviting the bicycle industry also our own competitors to share knowledge how to build plastic bicycles um, there'll be another frame maker with injection molding on there etc we invested in material ourselves because we want to accelerate uh, the f a plastic bicycle we know how long it takes until it is accepted to make robots for example so we invested in that to show that it's possible to be on the market and but uh, as i guess this is material as i guess we want to facilitate a new kind of bicycle industry this is a start today um, the Chancellor also asked, um, yeah, how big do you think it, it can be? I answered, you know how Tesla started? You know how Tesla started? With the Lotus Elise, tiny car, Lotus Elise, very expensive, just for a few thousand people. And now, and we start and we see how big our dream can carry us. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you. Please.